when it comes to outdoor photography, the real heroes are not the cameras that we shoot with or the tripods or anything like that. The real heroes are the clothes we wear. And that's what I want to discuss today. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. My name is Darren. I'm an outdoor photographer. I'm based here in beautiful Ireland. And I want to discuss today the unsung heroes in regards to outdoor photography. So there are a plethora of videos about cameras, about tripods, about microphones, about filters. And for me, they're all very important. However, when you're outdoors, the key thing that you need to have is good clothing. And it's something I think that goes unrecognized. And I wanted to make a video just to highlight the importance of clothing. And the key thing for me in relation to clothing is making sure that it enables you to be in the position that you need to be to be able to get the shot when the conditions arrive. And if you are uncomfortable in regards to it, then you're not going to get that shot. So I'm going to take you through the different aspects of clothing that for me work and that maybe you should consider for your own photography. So the first thing I want to discuss is starting from the bottom and working our way up is shoes or boots. Now, I have gone through a number of different boots over the years and what I found is you need to have a pair of boots that are number one, comfortable. Number two, waterproof. Number three, have got some good grip. And then number four is support because if you're going to be on your feet and you're going to be doing some large hikes and you're going to be going over rocky territory, then you need to make sure that your ankles are protected, that the arch of your foot as well is protected. And there are a number of manufacturers of boots out there and ones that I've actually gravitated to quite a lot are a brand called Regatta. And the reason I've gravitated to them is because number one, they make extremely good quality boots. Number two, they're highly comfortable. The soles are extremely grippy. In fact, even the boots that I'm wearing at the moment have Vibram or Vibram soles, so you've got extra grip in relation to that. And it enables me to be able to wear my boots all day long and not have to worry in relation to them leaking or sweaty feet or anything like that. Your feet are going to be perfect. If you've ever gone on long hikes and you've ended up with a blister, there is nothing worse because what that can do is it can cut your adventure short. And by making sure that you have comfortable feet, even the soldiers would always say, mind your feet. That's the most important part. And it's exactly the same from a landscape photography point of view. So for me, starting in the bottom, the boots are very, very, very important. The boots that I have are really good. There is a new pair actually that I've gotten. So I've replaced from my older pair because they were so good. And now I'm looking forward to not only breaking these in, but going through many miles or kilometers of journeys and some great adventures in regards to those. Boots are very, very important. And the next thing I want to discuss is our trousers. Now, there are, again, a number of different options that you can have. If you're in the outdoors, like today, you know, it's a, it's a wild and windy day and it's actually quite cold, I can feel no breeze, nothing on my legs. Now again, the trousers that I have here are from Regatta and they are fleeced lined. They're perfect in regards to comfort. What you don't want is a pair of trousers that are going to be very restrictive or restrict your movements or chafe you if you're going on long hikes and such like that. The material that's on use in these is not only comfortable, is not only windproof and warm, but is also waterproof. And that's very important as well, because as you know, we can get caught out in the elements. And before we even realize it, we're cold. And if you're cold and wet and the clothes are sticking to you, then it does not help you to stay out for longer. Additionally for that as well, you need a pair of trousers that are going to keep your not only personal belongings safe, but also any gear as well. So with these trousers here, I have zips on the pockets. I've got a Velcro on the back pocket, and then I also have a pocket as well on my leg that I can put my phone into. And I know that it's not going to fall out. It's not going to get damaged or anything like that as well. Pants or trousers are really, really important. And again, I would really encourage you to invest well because you're going to have these trousers for a long period of time. And the last thing you want to do is have them be a cheap material that will get caught on twigs and branches and get ripped or not going to give you enough protection to enable you to stay out for as long as you need to be to catch that light.
Now, moving on up, okay, so we are looking at the top layer. So starting on the inside, you know, the recommended is two layer. So for me, for argument's sake, I'm wearing three layers. The base layer is a lightweight material. It wicks, so any sweat that I have, it wicks it away from the skin. And that's really important as well, because if you're going for a hike, let's just say up a hill or a mountain, you're going to be wanting warmer and warmer and warmer as you go up. Now, if you've got clothing on that is remaining wet and your skin is wet, then once you stop, you're going to get very, very very cold. So a, a wicking light layer t-shirt or long sleeve shirt will work perfectly fine in regards to that. Then depending on the conditions that you're in, a secondary layer. So for me, I have my secondary layer here. Just so happens actually it's my Irish photography podcast um, regatta top. But what that allows me as well is to be able to have that second layer to keep me warm. So they're my two base layers. I, on an ordinary day, could wear these, no problem. I don't even need to have a coat. But with this, on the two layers, you're stopping the wind, you're taking that moisture off your skin, and you've got quick dry material as well that will dry out rather quickly. And then coming to the outside layer, and that's the important layer for me. A jacket is something which, you know, I think I always have, particularly in our Irish weather, except for when we get that heat wave uh, in the summer. But a jacket, just like a trousers, needs to have secure areas that you can put your items in with zips. If you put keys, a filter, a battery, anything whatsoever in a pocket and you don't have a zip and you're moving and you're moving around, it's going to fall out and then it's gone. If you have to go retracing your steps, best of luck in trying to find that. Now, with this jacket as well, what I like in relation to it is that I've got an inside pocket too, so I can put certain items inside my pocket and I know then that they're not necessarily going to fall out. And particularly what I like in regards to this, and I've mentioned a moment ago with, with regatta, is I've, I'm always listening and reading and seeing in regards to the carnage that's there in the clothing industry in regards to the environmental impact. What I like about regatta, and that's what draws me to this brand, is they're environmentally conscious. So my boots, my trousers, my jacket are all made from recycled materials. Some of them are plastic, some of them are bamboo for argument's sake. So it's very much so sustainable and eco-friendly. In fact, in this jacket here, there is it's a down jacket, but it's not a down jacket, it's feather free. So it's actually recycled plastic that's been done to create that same insulating effect. And that's the key thing in regards to what I like about regatta, but what I also like in relation to these jackets, because I can move, I've got full freedom of movement. There's nothing going to restrict me. I've got a hood, if in case it actually helps me, it starts to rain. Now this is not a waterproof jacket. I have another jacket as well, which is waterproof that I wear when it could rain. But for the most part, if I'm going out, I'm not going to be overly far. And what I can also do is, this will pack up very, very small and can go into my bag. So I don't necessarily have to be carrying it with me per se. It sits inside in a compartment within my bag. And then ultimately you can get a fully waterproof jacket as well, which I have, but I haven't got it with me today, which is uh, fully element sealed. That's perfect in relation to it as well, but that gives you number one, blocking from wind, but also blocking from moisture. So for me, I think the key and most important part of photography is the clothing that we wear. And I think they are the unsung heroes, like I said, from the outset of outdoor photography. How about you? Do you have a specific type of clothing that you swear by? Is there something that I've missed? Have you got a brand that you love? I'd love to know and continue the conversation in the comments below. So thank you very much as always for watching. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Give me a like, give me a comment. And until the next time, Schlong the fall.